What is going on guys? Welcome to your sixth Photoshop tutorial and in this lesson it's going to be awesome. I got a ton of stuff to cover. I'm going to be jam packing your guys brains full of valuable information on and uh, well let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is saving your image or saving your document. Now of course you guys probably already know how to save it. File um, for the first time you want to do save as and once you have it saved you can just press save but to save um, a Photoshop file what you want to do is you want to first of all navigate to where you want to save it and you want to make sure the format is PSD now this is a Photoshop format specific to this program and the reason that you always want to save a Photoshop specific file is because it includes all the information like different layers um, different channels paths and you guys will understand what all this means whenever we talk about them but this is the best format whenever you're working in Photoshop now we'll go ahead and save one called apples or what's this a guy's face save it as a Photoshop so now we have a Photoshop file that we can edit all the layers um, you know do all the cool things that are built in Photoshop however whenever you're ready to post the image to Facebook or a website or to print it out well it doesn't really matter if you print it out but to post it on the web you can't just post a Photoshop file on the web Google Chrome and Internet Explorer and Firefox they're not gonna understand what a Photoshop file is supposed to look like so in order to do that you need to export it as a JPEG or a ping or a GIF now in order to save this image as a final JPEG or GIF or you know ping or anything go to file save as and instead of Photoshop format change this to something like a uh, ping so then you can go ahead and save this and it says okay it usually gives you settings at the end and just press okay so that ping file is now something that you can use for you know your websites your blog Twitter whatever you want so aside from that I want to talk to you guys about two more things the first thing is how to find updates and patches in Photoshop now just so I clear things up I want to tell you guys that updates and patches aren't the same thing. This is just, you know, side information, but an update, whenever you hear about an Adobe updating a product, it means that it added new features such as, I don't know, maybe another tool or maybe you have um, more options in a drop down list or something. That's what an update is. A patch, on the other hand, is a bug fix. If there's maybe a memory leak in the program or it freezes whenever you click a certain button, that's what a patch is going to fix. So patches are more important, but updates are pretty freaking cool too. Now the cool thing is, unlike you know Call of Duty map packs, all of the updates are 100% free. So in order to check for updates, go to Help, Updates, and then it's going to give you this little thing. It says Checking for Updates and okay so evidently I have a lot of stuff to update and I'll do that later because you know um you know I don't wanna waste your time just showing me downloading and updating stuff but whenever you wanna update it just go ahead and click that I'll probably do it after this tutorial and the cool thing about it is you click that button and it downloads all the updates for you and it installs everything automatically incredibly easy almost as easy as well I won't even get into that but uh the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to deactivate Photoshop. Now, in case you didn't know, Photoshop only allows you to install its program on two different computers. They say like your main computer, your desktop, and your laptop. And that's just so people can't pirate the software and buy one copy and give it out to, you know, 600 friends. So, what if you already installed Photoshop on two computers, but then um, I don't know one of your computers is starting to mess up so you bought another one well do you have to go buy Photoshop again and install it on that computer no actually you can deactivate one of these copies so you install it on a new computer instead so in order to I don't know let's say that this computer I'm working on right now is starting to mess up and I wanna move this Photoshop over to another one we have to deactivate this one first by going to help deactivate and once you're in here it's gonna say okay do you want to deactivate it and then you press that and that's how you do that so you know this was a tutorial not really on 
let me just do you want to quit yes not really on you know how to edit images but it's really important information that you need to know if you want to become an expert Photoshop user so in the next tutorial we're gonna be jumping back into editing images learning how to do some cool stuff but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and by the way I got a bloodhound puppy today so um, if you guys want to check out my vlog you'll see it there it's freaking adorable so anyway, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later